is Patrick and welcome to some more Tesla news. Well, my news anyways. I am talking about what happened with my Tesla Model S Plaid and its heat pump issues. I finally got my car back. That's the bottom line. <laughs> and it's fixed. It's working. After it ultimately got towed because the 12 volt stopped working. Apparently there's some big issues with you know, the latest tech. That's the problem with being on the bleeding edge is that sometimes the edge bleeds. <laughs> After driving around for two months with no heat from the heat pump, supposedly there's a little bit of heat to defrost the windows. Uh, when it's like negative 10 outside, I wasn't seeing much of that. It did keep the windows from fogging up, but it was cold. So what I tried was little 12 volt cigarette lighter adapters to do heat, they would blow the breaker. Luckily, there are automatic switches inside the new Teslas. If you unplug it for a while and reset the car, they trip back. So here's what I did. I bought a big EcoFlow battery. These are like huge lithium ion batteries. They call them solar generators sometimes. And I got this actually for my camper from when I go camping. I put it in the back seat and I trickle charged it off the 12 volt. Then I would use it when I'm driving around to run these little heaters. And that worked okay. And I thought, well, this is a waste of energy. So I have these little doge miners for mining crypto and they are about 250 watts. And basically that 250 watts is just turned into heat. Exactly the same as little space heaters. So I put that in the back and I ran that but I need an internet connection. <laughs> so I had a little microtick that had LTE SIM that you could put in there. And I put in a little um, Mint Mobile SIM, which is like 15 bucks a month. So I put one of those in there <laughs> so I could drive around. I could mine Doge in my Model S that I bought with Doge and keep it warm and make my six hour trip to the service center. So I took it down there and they canceled my appointment once. Um, I, I mainly went down there to see my sister, but so I had to drive back with the doge heating. Then the 12 volt died. <laughs> so roadside, they towed my Tesla back to Loveland, Colorado. And then they told me that they had the part in for the heat pump, but they did not have the part in for the 12 volt. And that it was gonna be a couple weeks. So I thought I wasn't getting my Tesla back for a while. They managed to get one in a lot sooner than that after just a couple days and I finally got my Model S back. So now I'm I'm rocking and rolling uh, in the heat. I wanted to show you just some cool footage of what it's like. So it was minus 18 outside earlier and I got out of my garage, which was at 33 degrees. And now it's reporting negative two on the car. The interior of the car, pretty interesting to see. So let's go outside coldest parts of the snow, negative 25. The warm snow is uh, eh, around minus 20. The Tesla itself that was in the garage all night, you can see that we were using the tires, so they're a nice toasty 15 degrees or so. I thought I rolled down the windows. <laughs> so we're gonna see what the heat pump can do and how quickly it can warm up this car. The idea is from a minus zero temperature Fahrenheit, what are we looking at to warm up the car? It's interesting to see how the heat kind of leaks out the sides of the doors. You can see the inside of the interior of the car here. Still pretty toasty. The steering wheel was heated on my way over here, so it's still rocking around 50 degrees. Looks around 30 inside. It's interesting how long it's taken the tires to cool down. We're getting below zero on the ground where the battery's at. Some of the seats starting to hit around zero. <clears throat> this seat didn't have the heater on. I was like, my last recording had to stop because it got too cold and the battery died in the flare um, unit. All right, so now that we've got areas of the car that are around zero degrees, we're gonna kick this heat pump on and watch watch it do its magic. Actually, we'll kick the seat heater on because I'm not sitting in it. So I can heat up my, my breakfast, which is around 60 some degrees. <laughs> and the seat's around 11 right now. The vents 
are kicking out 17. Now it's reporting four degrees outside, but I was showing an actual negative 25. Um, it's cause I'm actually in the sun a little bit now. <laughs> this heated steering wheel is getting super toasty at the moment. I'm having to run off the USB power because of this device battery died because it was so cold that I'm using to record with. We can see coming out the bottom here, we got heat at our feet. We can see where the heat comes out. 99, 101, woohoo, vents coming out. Our seat, you can now see heating up. Remember the car was pretty much around zero on the interior. Just about two minutes ago, we were at zero. And now it's actually pretty warm in here. Like it says it's 30 degrees. Um, <laughs> and it was minus 25 outside. So that's, that's pretty good flip on the the temperature right there in two minutes so when people say electric cars they're afraid they don't do good in cold weather let them know in less than two minutes they're warm enough to be above freezing from negative 25 outside and this is the heat pump and is working yay <laughs> when it wasn't working Boy, that was rough. Anyways, this is my whole heat pump saga. Hopefully Tesla works out the bugs on the on the heat pump system. I know they were sending um, some software updates to fix the Y. If they can figure out the issues on the Model S, that'd be great. Mine works now, so <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Hopefully nobody else with early Model S plaids has the same issues. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any comments or questions, please post them below. Don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Walking Crow. We'll see you guys next time with um, some Tesla news that's not just mine. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. This has been a Two Smart Guys production.